everyone, welcome to PTI. I'm Josiah Robinson Leary, your host. I'm here with Mason Fuller. I'm here with Zach Collier. And today, we're going to talk the dark horse in the AFC conference. Now, I'm going to start with Mason Fullerton. Who do you see as a dark horse coming into the, uh, coming into this next football season? I mean, this is a very tough decision because I feel like there's a lot of teams in more of the AFC than NFC that really made a lot of changes in the offseason and that I feel could really improve this year. And, you know, I look at teams like the Jag – or not the Jaguars. I look at teams like, um, you know, the Ravens. I look at teams – like, you know, there's just a lot of teams really that I can think of. But I really am going to go with the, uh, the Ravens here. I think Lamar is only going to improve with the weapons that they added, as, you know, everyone talks about. I think they really did better with giving him some people to actually throw to, which is going to evolve his throwing a lot. And, you know, I look at other players who I that I can relate to who can throw and run, like Jalen Hurts, for example, and look where that got him with having people to throw to. And Lamar has really kind of just been there, you know, in – in uh, Baltimore kind of struggling without those weapons. And I think, you know, Odell, of course, he's not the same Odell everyone remembers, but he's still a better weapon. They got, you know, Jasicki from um, Miami. And I just really think that, like, the Ravens are going to be an improved team this year. Not saying they're going to win at all, but I really think in the AFC, they're definitely a dark horse team for me. All right, and we're going to head over to you. Who do you see as the dark horse in the AFC conference? I think the Broncos have a serious chance to at least make a wild card spot, obviously, in one of the toughest divisions in football right now. But last year, they had a pretty poor season, but they also like had a hard time with injuries. But I think this year is a good time to bounce back. They've fired Nathaniel Hackett. They have a chance for a fresh start. And I think that they'll probably have a good chance to make a playoff push through the season. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna have to disagree. I really think like the Broncos. I mean, last year, of course, you know, there's always injuries that come in, but that's just part of the game. I feel like I think every team gets a lot of injuries. I think Russ is just you know, this season's gonna show it. But I really kind of think that like it might just be the end for Russ. I mean, he might still have some years in him, but I don't think he's that same quarterback that Broncos fans would want him to be. Now I'm gonna interject and disagree. I think Russ still has a lot in the tank. No. He's, he switched his environment for the first time in his career. Give him a break. And he's coming off of injuries. He has an injury history. But now he has a chance to improve. And with the young weapons he has, they're growing. And I feel like the Broncos, that's actually a solid pick. I like the Broncos coming out. So yeah. I think, you know, whether he still has fueled him, talking about more of like a team that's a dark horse, I think it's at the point, you know, you saw the Jets that got like, you know, in the AFC that got uh, Aaron Rodgers, which I'm sure people would think that they could be a dark horse. I really don't think that they're a dark horse. I think they're gonna gonna be the same as they did last season, which was an improved Jets team. Like they did way better last season than usual. But I don't think Aaron Rodgers is gonna really take them as far as most people want, maybe a little farther. But like I look at the Broncos and they've added a lot of good young pieces and they're a lot younger of a team really ever since, you know, Peyton Manning left kind of, I feel like the time's kind of younger and younger. And I think, you know, maybe Russ can take them far eventually, but I think really if they want to be more of a dark horse team, like how I'm thinking of the Ravens, I think that they have to get more of a younger QB in their system. All right. Do you have anything to add? I disagree with your Jets point because they have the youth and potential of the Jets combined with Aaron Rodgers' chemistry with the rest of his teammates that he brought over from Green Bay. I can't say I'm high on the Jets, but I definitely like where they're at right now. They're in a pretty good position. Like, the AFC East is still pretty tough. But, like, they're – I feel like they can make a case that they could be uh, giving the Bills or Dolphins a run for their money for a division lead. And, you know, I'd like to add that they signed Dalvin Cook, an all-pro running back, pro bowler. And I think he's a multi-time 1,000-yard rusher. I think that's going to make a big difference, and especially since they already have Brees Hall, Michael Carter – that running back room, along with that electric passing game and Aaron Rodgers, the Jets can make a move. Do you have anything else to add? I think, you know, of course we were talking about the Arbors, but I also do think, you know, these are the Jets are up for discussion in it. I mean, I'm still going to stick with the Ravens as a dark horse, but, like, I think the Jets for sure, like, don't get me wrong, they improved. But I think, yeah, the AFC East is, like, probably, in my opinion, the second toughest division in the AFC. I think the AFC West is definitely the hardest. But, you know, there's just – I. I just can't see it with teams like the Bills. I do think the Jets could give the Dolphins a run maybe for the money, but at the same time, you know, I hopefully, you know, Tua comes back if he's healthier. 
mean, he was putting on some good numbers before, you know, unfortunately he got injured. But I, that, those are my thoughts on the AFC East. Dark Horse, I'm still going to stick it with the Ravens. Are you sticking with the Broncos? Yeah, I'm going to stick with the Broncos. All right. And that'll do it for PTI. Thank you, Mason Fuller. Thank you, Zach Collier. I'm Josiah Robinson, and this was a session of PTI.